who can correct Christ? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for August the 22nd, 2020, according to St. Matthew. Some Pharisees came to him, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any reason? He answered, Have you not read? that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. They said to him, why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her? He said to them, It was because you were so hard-hearted that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife except for unchastity and marries another commi commits adultery. His disciples said to him, if such is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. But he said to them, Not everyone can accept this teaching, but only those to whom it is given. For there are eunuchs who have been so from birth, and there are eunuchs who have been made eunuchs by others, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. First, let me explain to you that the design of God is marriage, and he made man, male and female. Fortunately now we live in a, in a place, in a time when we call man and women different things, but the man and the women in Hebrew is easier to understand. Ish, Isha. This is just one thing. Hajat Nefesh, which means the living human, is made female and male. And God designed marriage, and it is sacred. Are we to be excommunicated eternally because some of us might have gotten married and then divorced? No. Even Christ himself says, if for unchastity you might just leave. How come unchastity? And it is not only for the woman, but also for the man. If there is unchastity, there is no more marriage in there. You should leave. Contrary to what the Romans do, we in the Orthodox Church forgive and accept those who unfortunately have divorced. And we can even bless for a second time another marriage to those, provided that they walk along with us on a healing process, that they might be healed. But this is not the most important thing that I want to talk about. When the disciples heard the Lord about this, they said, better not get married. And the Lord says, this about the eunuchs, eunuchs. Some of them are made for the kingdom of God. And that goes directly to two of his disciples, to John and to Andrew, to Andrew, here, St. Andrew, who were very young and did not marry. But the other ten were married. Now, the Lord did not make a mistake in calling the ten that were married and the two that were celibate. But there are those who believe that they have the power to change even what God said. And they demand that their priests be celibate always. And that is the Roman scene. And what have they gotten? An angelic church? By far, no. They got homosexuals in a great majority. According to their own reports in Rome, there is a 60% homosexuality. 
in the priests, in the cardinals and bishops and whatever it is. 60%. And they have even nowadays this theology of homosexuality to, to support it, to, to, to welcome it. They want to twist the entire theology and the thinking of God according to their own views. And that would be worse. I mean, that would be bad enough. But there is a great majority also. Those that are not homosexual are adulterers that take advantage of women. And they give nothing out in return. They, they, they make them uh, sons and daughters, but they give them nothing in return. And they are pedophiles. That is the reality. If you are happen to be there and you don't like that, then know that there is a church that remains faithful and it is the Orthodox Church. That we would never ever dare to try to change anything of the, God, of the teaching of God. When we become prideful, we start twisting our mind, or rather the devil starts twisting, twisting our minds, and he separates us from God. That is why it is important that we imitate the Holy Theotokos and remain humble, obedient, hearing. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.